Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add some intensity to a photo in Lightroom. Sometimes our images don't come out of the camera looking exactly how we wanted, but there's a few things we can do in Lightroom to really enhance them. We post new videos and resources every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also visit newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get exclusive offers that are only available for subscribers. Let's get started. So here's the before image and here's the after, and I'm going to show you the steps that I took to process this image in Lightroom. New Layer members can download this photo in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can apply these methods to your own photos as well. So this picture was taken during a firefighting training exercise, and there was a lot of water and fire and smoke flying around. Now, the bad part about smoke is that it basically blocks a lot of what you're trying to photograph, but we can cut through that and rekindle the intensity of this image in Lightroom. So I'm going to go to my before image and hide these thumbnails and go up to the basic panel. And the first thing that I want to do is really recreate the heat that was happening in the moment. So I'll increase the temperature slider to about 15,000. Next I want to increase the contrast. So I'm going to come over to the whites and increase those to about 55. And I'll bring the blacks way down to about negative 70. So if we look at the before and the after, there's already a lot more energy in our photograph. I want to bump up the contrast and depth some more, so I'm going to come down and increase the texture to about 12, the clarity to about 25, and since the smoke causes a whole lot of haze, I'm going to use the dehaze filter and drag that all the way to about 50. Now that creates a lot of contrast and lets us cut through the haze, but I made the firefighter a little dark, so I'm going to come up and increase the shadows to about 35. I really want the color of the fire to stand out in the background, so I'm going to come down to the Vibrant slider and increase that to about 35, and I'll increase the overall saturation to about 5. Now it's starting to look a lot hotter. Next I'll come into the Tone Curve panel, and I'm going to give this a slight S-curve, so I'll click here and here, and then I'm going to come down to the bottom left point and bring that up a bit, and to the top right point and bring that down. And the two points that I added previously keep the mid-tones from being affected. That S-curve will kind of smooth out the darkest and the lightest parts of our image and give it a very slight faded effect. Next I'm going to come down into the split toning panel and first I'll set the saturation to 100 so we can see the color that we're working with. And I'm going to add a little bit more orange into the highlights so I'm going to set the hue to about 35 and then I'll back off on the saturation so I'll take it from 100 to about 50. Next I'll increase the shadow saturation to 100, and I want to add some blue to the shadows. So I'll take the hue for the shadows to about 200, maybe a little bit more, let's say 215, and then I'll back off just a little bit to about 90. Then I'll use the balance slider, and that will help Lightroom detect which areas are shadow and which areas are highlights, so it can put more blue or more orange in. So I'm going to slide that to the right, and set it to about 75. That way Lightroom considers more of my image in the highlight region and will add more orange, while only the very darkest parts get that blue tint. Now we'll go into the effects panel and add a vignette by dragging the amount slider down, and about negative 30 looks good. And that's pretty much it. So you can see the before, which doesn't really have any contrast and doesn't look hot, it just doesn't look very intense. And the after. So in this image you can really feel the heat and feel the intensity of the moment. That's it for now guys. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe and let me know what you want to learn next in the comments. Your feedback is how we make new videos, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.